Cam Newton comes in. He's back. He's back. He's trending Newton's on Twitter. Newton, Cam Newton. Cam Newton comes in. He'll run you over in the goal line. He will throw it on the goal line. Two touchdowns. Now he's got the starting job. What do you think there? Are people – I feel like everyone's rushing to kind of stream him this week, but who knows? I told you last week he'd be starting this week. Yeah. I did not expect him to have two touchdowns last week. That was crazy. Yeah. And then uh, they blitzed the Cardinals, even though it was Colt McCoy. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, they're going up against Washington. Washington just looked real good against Tom Brady. Oh, yeah. But if we want to get cute about it, Cam Newton is a much different football player than Tom Brady. He's going to pose a lot more threats. Now you don't have Chase Young. Cam can do more of his running around. They can design more runs to go at the now weaker side of that defense. Yep. You know, eh, my bigger question is, what is Cam Newton going to give to uh, DJ Moore, who has fallen off because Sam Darnold's a crock of shit? Yep. I mean, I don't expect the passing game to really be there. And if it is, it's just going to be back to Christian McCaffrey and then Cam Newton pretty much being a bulk of that offense. Uh, Washington's offense as well. I, I don't know how to feel about that because, honestly, their offense didn't look great last week. Antonio Gibson, mm-hmm. for some reason, scored two touchdowns when he was on my bench. That's why he scored two touchdowns. But, <laughs> right. uh, you know, uh, Cam is a fantasy option. You know, if you're sitting with Justin Herbert right now, like I am, just – totally defeated and upset about it yeah go ahead and throw in cam because who else is on the waiver wire that you're gonna be right. more comfortable in playing Tua, he's I just actually uh i found up. mac jones on the waiver wire out of things speaking of cam's former team but yeah he was in the top five last week uh, i know i was shocked he was there i was like thank you i also uh you can go clear back to my First or second show, I, I said Matt Jones is going to be the best rookie quarterback out of this class. He's starting to look like it. So yeah, no kidding. I, I know sometimes when I'm talking about other times, <laughs> you can just tell me I'm a fucking idiot because that's what I look like. But hey, we all are in the same boat, of course. That's the analysis <laughs> game. Um, let's talk about that game. It's tonight. Uh, Falcons, Patriots. I said on your show, I like the Falcons. Uh, just one of those weird NFL spots. Uh, Patriots have been rolling. People think they're a contender, and I think the Falcons are going to at least keep things close, maybe uh, pull off an upset, but that's the fan in me. Let's talk fantasy there. Your boy, Cordero Patterson, game time decision. Uh, you're hoping he plays, obviously. What's the fan? We talked a little bit about Mac Jones. Not much to talk about with the Falcons, other than who would be the guy to kind of take Cordero's kind of reps, targets, etc. And then, uh, who do you like on the Patriots side as it looks like Damian Harris is back after Ramondre Stevenson went off for 27 last week? Yeah, so uh, if we look at Patterson, I, I don't care if he's limping into the game, if he's in the game. I'm putting him in, yeah. praying that he at least does that. But the handcuff that I went out and got for him this week was Wayne Gallman. Oh, that's right. Yep. Wayne Gallman is – he's that sneaky backup player that will come out and have a huge week for no damn reason. He did it with the Giants quite a few times with Saquon going down. Mm-hmm. You saw him step in last week, and, you know, it wasn't a big fantasy day, but he got involved, which is what you like to see. So – he he's a guy that you know he's not projected a lot Cordell doesn't play you don't know what you're going to get out of him but he can he can do the job just fine and he stepped into these spots before and if you streamed him you were so happy you did because he went out and put up uh put up a decent game uh on the shit I lost my train of thought uh on the Patriots foul. I mean, foul yeah, Patriots, yeah. <laughs> on the Patriots side, uh, you know, I still like Ramondre Stevenson. Yeah, but, I've seen uh, him. Uh, people are saying he's still a flex uh, in this backfield tonight. Yeah, I mean, Damian Harris, obviously, they have the same role. Like, Ramondre pretty much stepped in to be that same role. But let's be honest have we seen Damian Harris run the ball as impressively as Ramondre Stevenson has? 
Scream Ramondre point. is dragging people. He refuses to go down. He is a hell of a runner. Yeah. And, you know, when before the season started and we saw Ramondre in the uh, preseason, I was like, I like this guy. He's They should, you know, utilize him quite a bit because he's a tough runner. He's been showing it. And, you know, if the Patriots, let's be honest, they maybe 200 yards passing per game. Yeah. And they're, they've transitioned into a running team just about. Utilize those two. Just keep them fresh. Do a Cleveland Browns type of thing, you know? A couple plays for one, a couple plays for the other. Keep them fresh and just run all over the Falcons. No offense yeah. to you. <laughs> no, I, I was just thinking the same thing. I mean, that's the way to beat us is just, I mean, grind the ball down, maybe beat us on some coverage with Mac Jones, and then hope Matt Ryan throws interceptions against uh, – Patriots number two ranked fantasy defense right now. So that scares me as a Matt Ryan uh, fan, of course. Yeah. And then uh, wide receiver wise, you honestly saw some people get involved last week. And how about that throw um, in double coverage to the end zone from Mac Jones, just on a laser in the only spot it could have gone. I know exactly what you're talking about. Beautiful throw. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. He's, he makes some throws. Um, uh, I can't remember if it was born or if it was uh uh Myers that caught that I think I think it was born because Myers had uh his first career touchdown on a different play later in that game yeah yeah and they each had one so I mean they had one Hunter Henry is he a sneaky tight end play I mean he's a force yeah uh, red zone target this is about the time last year he came on pretty strong as a fantasy player with the Chargers He's starting to kind of come on pretty strong. A two-touchdown game is nothing to scoff at at all. You, you could be somebody that if you're worried about your tight end, throw him in on a Thursday night. Yeah. Crazy shit happens, go for it. I mean, C.J. Uzama, the best tight end Thursday night performance I've ever seen. So <laughs> go for it. I, If I was the Bills, I would not be worried about the Pats. I would be wary. Um, just to see, I mean, rookie quarterback, I, I mean, Belichick has retransformed that defense. He spent money on, they've got the young guys on that offense. Now a team that never had running backs now has a guy from Bama and a guy from Oklahoma young. Um, so that's, what's interesting. 